In this video, I'm going to show you how to connect an external hard drive to an Apple Airport. So here I have a Seagate Backup Plus. It's a 5 terabyte external hard drive. And I have this 2 terabyte Airport time capsule. So here I have my hard drive out of the box with the power supply and the USB cable. I'm going to go ahead and plug those up. So I'm going to connect it to my computer. Seagate drives are typically formatted for Windows computers out of the box, so I'm going to have to format it for my Mac. Now that the light's on, I'm going to open up my computer, and I'm going to launch Disk Utility. Because I need to make this drive compatible with my Mac. So I'm going to look on the left hand side under the external tab, and I'm going to select this shared Mac drive which is actually a name I came up with after I've reformatted it before. You'll know it's which drive to select because it'll have the little eject tool next to it. I can rename it whatever I want. I'm actually going to rename it to its original name, so the way it arrived out of the box, which is just Seagate Backup Plus Desk Media. So that it works with our Mac, I'm going to select OSX Extended and click Erase. It's going to erase the drive, unmount it, and remount it with the new name. So now the drive is compatible with my Mac. So I just want to eject it so that I can safely unplug the USB. And on my drive, the light goes out when it's safe to eject. So I can go ahead and unplug it. And I'm actually just going to plug this into the airport time capsule now. So there's a USB port on the back. I'm just going to plug it directly in there. Now that it's plugged into my network, I want to test a few things. So I'm going to launch Finder. And on this left hand, this sidebar, you should see this uh, shared section. If you don't see the shared section, you can follow these instructions in the video. So just click the sidebar, and under the shared, I choose. I make sure that connected servers is checked, and I also make sure that external drives or external disks is also checked under devices. With those checked off, I'm going to open up my network, which mine is Justified Web Design. So just click it and connect as in the top right corner. I'm going to enter my password and press connect. So as you can see here I have two folders the data and the Seagate Backup Plus desk media. So the data folder is actually just the time capsule backups, the internal storage. The Seagate Backup Plus for me is where I'll save all of my files that I want to access wirelessly. If you found this video helpful please rate, comment, and subscribe.